The first pH indicator I want to show you is called phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein is probably one of the more common pH indicators we use because at pH 8 or lower, it's colorless, and at pH 10 or higher, it's a deep pink. So an acidic solution, it's going to be colorless, and in a slightly basic to strongly basic solution, it's going to be pink. This makes a very good indicator for a strong acid, strong base titration, or a weak acid, strong base titration. What I'd like to demonstrate to you is how this would work in a titration this currently is an acidic solution, it is colorless. I'm going to add dropwise a base solution to show you how a titration may occur. Adding a base, you'll see right away the very vibrant pink, but when I swirl it, the pink does go away. As the pink starts to stay around for longer periods of time, we're getting closer and closer to the equivalence point for this e pH indicator. Just a few more drops, I believe. Every once in a while, it, it's good practice to wash down the outsides of the Erlenmeyer flask with some DI water to make sure all the base gets in there. You see that pink color staying just a little bit longer each time I add a drop of base until right now it is a very very pale pink that disappeared the next partial drop is probably going to be my equivalence point wash that down oh, still another partial titrations require patience ah 